As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Youth to stand up for Christ. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. Luke 9, verse 26. Always stand up for Christ, in word, in spirit, in action, be his witness. He loves you, and he wants to impart to you his rich grace that you may impart this to others. Christ has purchased you with his own blood, then everywhere, at all times, and under all circumstances, stand up for Jesus. Remember that thus you will exert the very best influence upon all with whom you associate. It is your privilege ever to grow in grace, advancing in the knowledge and love of God, if you maintain the sweet communion with Christ, it is your privilege to enjoy. In the simplicity of humble faith, ask the Lord to open your understanding, that you may discern and appreciate the precious things of his word. Thus you may grow in grace, grow in simple trusting faith, then your light will shine forth to all with whom you associate. Keep your mind fixed upon the Savior. Be sure that your spiritual life does not become poor, sickly, inefficient. There are many who have need of the words and example of a Christian. Weakness and indecision provoke the assaults of the enemy, and anyone who fails to increase in spiritual growth in a knowledge of truth and righteousness will frequently be overcome by the enemy. Let your countenance reflect the joy of the Lord. Speak of His goodness and tell His power. Then your light will shine more and more distinctly. Above your trials and disappointments will be revealed the reflection of a pure, healthy, religious life. There is no limit to the influence of the human agent who wears the yoke with Christ. Daily, he studies the life of Christ and conforms his life to the divine pattern. It is by the manifestation of the Spirit of Christ in our words and actions that the world takes knowledge of us that we have been with Jesus and that we are the children of God. The true nature of our religion is, in the gentle spirit, the kindness, the peace which we manifest.
Thank you.